Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Um, I'm sure by this stage you've heard of AI, artificial intelligence, and things like ChatGPT. Um, Google recently released its competitor to ChatGPT, which is called Bard. And what I wanted to show you today is we all want to practice our pageant interview, our pageant interview questions. And if you've ever had difficulty getting your hands on good pageant questions, um, then I'm going to show you how you can generate an endless list, ge genuinely an endless list of pageant questions that you can practice um, for completely free. So what I'll do here is I'll share my screen with you. Now we'll start with, this is ChatGPT, which is the one that you must have been living under a rock if you haven't heard about it. But basically it's the first artificial intelligence model that has really hit mainstream consciousness. So you log in, I'll put the links to um, open up a ChatGPT account. You can see it's openai.com at the, at the top left. Um, but it, it's free to get an account. I am actually paying for an account at the moment. That gives me a few extra features and a bit of a different model, a more recent AI model. But actually, I'll tell you what, let's swap to the free model so you don't think this is only available for people who are paying. And you just go down here and... Um, you enter a text prompt. Now, it's not like a Google search. So for example, um, if I say, okay, what are the best coffees in 2023? And we'll see what it says. Now you can see here, so this is one of the limitations of ChatGPT. It's not actually directly connected to the internet now. It was trained on information on the internet. So basically it was fed the information on the internet, but it was done in 2021. So anything after that, it doesn't have access to, and you can't get it to directly access the internet. So it's not a Google search. What it really is, is a really, really smart friend. So if you talk to it and say, hey, how are you doing? And it will think. And as you can see there, it says, as an AI, I don't have feelings, but I'm functioning as intended and ready to assist you. How can I help you today? So I would like you to help me generate a list of practice pageant interview questions. And let's just say I put that in. Certainly, here's a list of practice pageant interview questions that can help you prepare. Now it's given me 15 and if you have a look, tell us about yourself and why you decided to enter this pageant. All right, that is a very good question. That's probably one of the most commonly asked. What qualities do you believe make a successful title holder? How have your past experience prepared you for this pageant? In your opinion, what is the biggest issue facing our society today? And how would you address it as a title holder? Now, if you go through these, just having a quick look so for example number 14 out of 15 is how do you handle criticism and negative feedback and how would you use it constructively to improve yourself these are all really good quality practice interview questions it's not like it spit out a list of questions and um, it has no idea what it's doing and you're looking at these questions and going they're terrible these are really really good and what you'll find is as you get more familiar with how to use the chat gpt prompt Basically, the quality of what the AI spits out is based totally on you as in terms of how good of a prompt you put in. So, for example, you might say, that's really great. Can you give me 15 more? And here you go. It will spit out 15 more. So these, in theory, would be different to the ones above. And, you know, it's pretty accurate every now and then. You, you might pick up a little bit of a stumble. But ChatGPT has been out for a while now. And it really has improved in accuracy um, through the testing. So, for example, number one, what do you believe is the biggest challenge facing young women today? And how can it be addressed? So these are really, really good quality questions, not only for pageant interview, but even for a job interview. Uh, now, how I would suggest you use this is the whole point of using this is you have an endless list of questions and you don't know what it's going to ask you. And that's really key to practicing interview well. It's getting a question, not knowing, having any idea what it's going to be, and then answering it on the spot. So what I would actually suggest you do, you might want to generate one question at a time and then actually take out your mobile phone 
and record yourself doing the answers straight to the mobile phone or even better yet, have your mobile phone set up or webcam set up and then just record your answers straight to the video, straight to the camera and then have a look at how you look, what your gestures are like, obviously what you say, what you sound like and then just keep training, training, training. That immediate feedback though is really, really important. So answer a question, look at the, look at the video, give yourself some feedback and then do it again, adjust, do it again, adjust. The immediate feedback is really important. It's much better to do it that way than having a list of 10 or 20 questions, for example, answering all of them in your head and then, or even answering them to a video and then trying to look back at 20 answers at a time, your feedback is not going to be as good because you won't really remember what you were thinking that at the time you were answering question one, if you answered a list of 20 questions. So take these questions, answer them one at a time to the camera. Actually, what I might do is see, um, I like these questions but can you just give me one at a time? I'm trying to see if there's a way that I can stop you from reading ahead, so let's have a look. So I'm getting it to, I like these questions, but can you just give me one at a time? It's going to go away and think. I will say because chat GPT is free, which boggles my imag imagination, but depending on the usage, um, it can sometimes do things like this. So let me just see if I can do this again. Okay. so. If it's very heavy usage, you might find the response is very slow or it might just give you an error, in which case either come back later or just wait a couple of minutes and then ask it again and hopefully it will give you the answer. So here, of course, here's one practice pageant interview question for you. How do you plan to use your platform to promote positive body image and self-confidence? Okay, that's a great question. So go away, practice that. Practice it to a coach, to a friend, um, or if you don't have the advantage of that or you want to practice by yourself, practice it straight to your uh, webcam or to your phone and watch it back straight away, that immediate feedback. Have a look. Are you happy with the way you responded? Not just what you said, but how you said it. What are your gestures like? Did you make good eye contact? Um, what are you doing with your hands? That's a very common thing. I tend to think that um, most people either use way too much hands. I don't see that much of it. What I do tend to see is either awkward hand syndrome or no hands at all, and that is a bit weird. Uh, so a bit of hand, a bit of normal, natural body language, I think, is a good thing, um, particularly when you're emphasizing certain points. So now if you have a look, there's a regenerate response button here. So if I want my next one, I can probably just hit this button, and it's going to, it's going to go away and basically regenerate its response to my previous question, my most recent question, which was, I like these questions, but can you just give me one at a time? So each time now I hit regenerate, it's going to basically give me hopefully another question. So of course, uh, so what qualities do you believe make a successful title holder? Go away, practice your response or hit regenerate response at a time. Uh, hit the regenerate response button. Here's another one. What steps have you taken to improve your public speaking and communication skills? All right. So this is how I would practice with ChatGPT. As I said, it's completely free. Um, there is a model where you can use, if I scroll up to the top, this model up here, the free one is GPT 3.5, the new one is GPT 4, uh, and that is a bit better, it's a bit more accurate, but it's really in terms of, it's not so, you wouldn't need it so much for this, but if you wanted to write a 10,000 word critical essay on Shakespeare's Hamlet, GPT-4 is probably better equipped. You're not doing that. Hopefully you're not doing that anyway because there's a big argument at the moment as to um, students being able to cheat with things like that. That's a discussion for another day. Now that's chat GPT. As I said, openai.com is a URL. You can go away and create a free account. Now I've been playing around with Google's version, which is bard.google.com. Bard as in like a song, a song singer, old school song singer, bard, B-A-R-D. It is where ChatGPT was probably three or four, maybe six months ago. I know that doesn't sound like a long time, but in the world of AI, six months is an eternity. Chat, um, Bard has a couple of uh, advantages though over ChatGPT. One is it is connected to the internet. So I, if I go back and I give it, let's say, remember the first question I asked ChatGPT was what are the best coffees in 2023? 
and had to say, well, sorry, I, I don't know. I, I ended my learning in September of 2021. If I go and ask Bard that, because especially it's created by Google, it goes to the internet, has a look, and then comes back with an actual response. So you can see here the best coffees in 2023 are the ones you enjoy the most, blah, blah, blah. But hopefully these ones are well-reviewed coffees in 2023. So Bard, again, it's free. In fact, it's because it's kind of in beta at the moment. It, there's no way I don't think to pay for it. Um, so it's connected to the internet. Also, you can get it to, for example, I got it to access my pageant project website and then create a bio on myself using the information on my website. So it went away, accessed my website. It wrote a pretty good bio. The only thing it got wrong was that it thought I was a pageant queen that had won a title. Um, so it's not perfect. This is why any any of these responses you generate, if you're going to copy and paste anything from AI, you want to fact check it first because it can get things wrong, sometimes quite embarrassingly so. Um, but let's uh, the other advantage that Bard has is it has microphone access. So if you don't want to talk, you, if you don't want to type your question, you can talk to it. But let's give it, to be fair, the exact same question. So I would like your help. So I'll copy and paste this. I would like your help to, uh, I would like you to help me generate a list of practice pageant interview questions. Let's have a look. So it will go away and think. Okay. Here are a few to get you started. Tell me about yourself. That's a very common one. Uh, in pageantry, some version of that, like tell us a bit more about yourself. Um, often they will ask you something that's more based on the bio, your paperwork that you submitted, but sometimes not. Um, that can actually be a very challenging question. Tell me about yourself because you don't really know where to begin. It can be a, quite a vague question, but that, that means it's a good question to practice. What are your strengths and weaknesses? What is your platform? What are your goals for the future? What do you think is the biggest problem facing the world today? So these are all good questions if I'm having a look. And it's got a good mix. So for example, what is your favorite song and why? So something that's a bit more tangential. What is your dream job? The bottom one is a really important one. Why do you want to win this pageant? So this is another good list of questions. Um, it even gives you a bit of advice down here by the looks of it. These are just a few examples and the judges may ask you anything, blah, 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 blah and has given us a few tips for answering page and interview questions. So that's quite a thorough response. In fact, it might be a better response than we got from ChatGPT. And if I use this prompt down here, I like these questions, but can you give me one at a time so that you can practice one at a time? Let's give it the same prompt. Okay, so sure, here's a page and interview question for you. Tell me about yourself. Okay, um, I'll just paste the same one again. Oh, just let me know when you're ready for the next question. As I said, you've got to interact with it, not like a computer, but with like a person. So I am ready. It's asked me, asked it to let me know when I'm ready for the next question. I am ready. Okay, here is another pageant interview question for you. What are your strengths and weaknesses? Okay. Give me another one. What is your platform? Okay, now let's uh, think outside the box. Give me, okay, so let's say these are too easy. Um, give me a really difficult one that I probably haven't heard of before. Let's just see what happens. Okay, sure. Here's a difficult pageant interview question for you. If you could change one thing about the world, what would it be? Okay, that that can be a challenging thing because obviously if you just want to change one thing about the world, it's hard to pick one. It's not really like rocket science hard. But you get the point. So um, whether you want to use chat, as I said, chat GPT, which is openai.com or the Google version at bard.google.com, if you are ever short, basically, you have no excuse now not to go away and practice hundreds and hundreds of interview questions. 
you can go and ask either of these two artificial intelligences to generate you a list of a hundred questions and you just go away, practice them. Obviously how you practice, as I already stated, and I'll emphasize it once again, how you practice is very, very important, but you have no shortage now of endlessly generated random questions. Of course, there's going to be some repetition, but a bit of repetition never hurts because maybe you can make your answer that little that little bit better. But remember, practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. Well, the other way they say it is practice makes permanent. So don't just answer these in your head or just talk. I mean, that's better than nothing. But if you really want to practice properly, get your webcam, get your phone. You'll be in front of the computer anyway, in front of your phone anyway, and at least record the audio so you can hear not only what you say, but how you say it, because that tonality, the, the, uh, the tempo of your speech is very important. Are you enunciating clearly? Do you also finish? And then how long are your answers? Maybe you need to practice 30 second answers or one minute answers. So practice that. Um, and if you record your answers, you can see that because you'll see how long your answers are. So take these tools, these amazing tools, which are, I, I've just, to give you an idea, I'm looking to AI a lot because I find it fascinating in terms of what it can do, not just for pageantry, but for your life and for business in particular. And I kid you not, I just tried one that generates an artificial voice based on a sample you give it. And um, I have a good friend in pageantry. I took three clips of her speaking in an interview. I fed it to this AI and then I got it to read a passage and it sounds exactly like my friend. It is, that's actually scary. It's mind boggling. You can also get AIs to generate original art. You've probably heard of that because there's an ongoing moral sort of dilemma or questions surrounding copyright and whether it's going to put artists out of business. But that's a, that's an argument for another day. But use these tools to help you with everything. If you own a business, um, if you need to create blogs, if you want to start a YouTube channel, you can get it to write YouTube scripts. But you can see how many questions it can generate for you effortlessly. Um, and have a play. Have a play with these AIs. I, I don't know how it would best suit you. But I could pretty much guarantee you that whatever field you're working in, whatever you're studying, you will be able to find a way to use AI to not, let's say, better your life or not to make you a better person, but certainly to make you more productive. And um, AI is here to stay. It's not going away. And uh, it's going to be really interesting because I think the future is going to belong to people who can harness this immense power this can replicate the efforts of hundreds, if not thousands of people. Um, so it really comes down to you now and your creativity rather than can I write, for example, or can I blog and things like that. So give it a go. Um, openai.com is for chat GPT or bard.google.com is Google's version, B-A-R-D. And uh, let me know how you get on.